Okay guys, for those of you that have not seen the AR-60 in action, here it is. This, uh, this is a stucco house that I'm washing. I know a lot of you get scared of stucco. Stucco is my favorite house to wash. To me, they clean up easier than any other house. See the volume I'm getting up there. I got my southern style surfacted on there. So watch it how it just cleans those windows. When you get through using this southern style surfactant, guys. By the way, I just got a shipment in this morning. So I'll be sending out those of you that have ordered. And if you have not ordered, you want some, go to Leon's online store and uh, order you some. You see them windows, how shiny they are once you get through with them. What I like about this soap is it don't leave any streaks on the windows. So anyway, it rinses off these windows real good. I've used soaps in the past and I always leave a residue. But with my southern style surfactant, guys and gals, you don't have any problem whatsoever with it. When you get through rinsing, they're crystal clear. So I'm using my AR-60. I've already soaked this house, now I'm rinsing it down. You see I got plenty of distance to get up there, no problem. Got plenty of power. Uh, not too much pressure, set soap, rinse it down. That's the uh, Southern Style Surfactant. It rinses right off, that's what I like about it. This house was real dirty when I started, but uh, again, I like the stucco houses. All you gotta do is put your stuff on, go ahead and soak the whole house. Let it set while you're soaping the house, and by the time you come back around, It'll be ready to rinse off. So you can see my soap, how it rinses off real easy. I've used soaps in the past and it wouldn't hardly rinse off, but what you're gonna love about the most, guys, is these windows. Your customers are gonna be satisfied when they come home and they see these windows shining. Again, I'm using my AR-60, using the red gun. Look at that, I'm standing way over here shooting over top of that house. All I gotta do is rinse this one side and I'm through. And that'll be $300 in the book. In about uh, 35 minutes. Takes about 35 minutes to wash a house this size. And you got the right equipment that is. So watch those windows now. You're going to see them just rinse off crystal clear. Now those of you who got the AR-45 can't get the 60, don't worry about it. You still got a good machine. So you're still in good shape. So let me uh, show y'all this soap, how it washes off. So I soaked this house earlier. I put a pretty good little mix of soap and bleach on it. You see it running down now. So that's water I'm rinsing with. That's soap that was already on there. And it just rinses right off. It leaves a good shiny clean after it comes off. See, your friends is right on down. No problem. We got it coming right off.
Yeah, I did a video the other day, uh, Daniel. Should be able to find it on 101 where I have my valve set. So anyway, I use one inch metering valves, a regular standard house wash. You can go about one and a half mix is all you got to put on it. Now these stucco houses, I went ahead with about a 30% mix on it. Or three, excuse me, 3%, I'm sorry. But, uh, cause I like to go ahead and get them clean. I'm glad you got one, Bobby. They, it's a game changer, man. It just makes all the difference in the world. So look here, guys. I'm standing probably 35 feet from this house. I just want to show y'all. <coughs> so I'm shooting way over top of this house. You can see that way up there. So anything around four feet, I mean, uh, four stories, you have no problem with it whatsoever. I did a uh, GoPro cam video I'm going to post later on today on this house before, but it was dirty. It was dirty. See what I like about that dual valve? All I got to do is open that up, let my pressure off. I ain't got to drag my gun to it. So, uh, this is what I ran right here on this house. Because it was a stucco, so you can see my little dial right there. So you can run it right there and that way it cleans it good. I put a lot of soap on this one too. Uh, anyway guys, that's another one in the books. You're looking about 35, 40 minutes. Watch this house. Got in, got out. Yeah, Jim, I charge uh, $300 for this house. Now, a lot of you guys charge by the square footage. I don't. I charge by how long it takes me. And I knew it wouldn't take me long to do this house. So, uh, so I figured, you know, hey, guys, anytime you can make $300 in about 30, 45 minutes, uh, to me, that's pretty good money. I guess that's why I stay so busy is that I give good prices and uh good fair prices because i know we're going to do the quality work plus we get in get out where a lot of you guys would probably charge six hundred dollars for this house and be here most of the day and that justifies your time i understand that but again when you this is what i had preached for five years now straight once i started uh moving up to the big equipment or the volume then i realized i could start getting in getting out so you don't have to charge as much. Uh, what drone was I flying yesterday? I was flying the Mini. That's one that uh, I bought it. I like it real good. It does a good job. The only thing, it won't follow you. But other than that, it does pretty, pretty doggone good. So anyway, this house is in the books. I'm running solo today. This is my second one of the day. I did a house and a roof wash earlier. I just did this house wash. Go do a couple more. Day's Monday, so I'm going to take it easy today. Knock out about four or five today, and that's going to be it. Try to knock off about three o'clock. <coughs> yeah, those windows shine, son. A southern style. Southern style surfactant. That's why you want to leave windows. You want to leave them shiny. So that uh, customers come home. They look at their windows. They say, wow, that looks good. Now this door. This door was totally black around the edges. So you know how these little rubber pieces get black? So it was black, got it cleaned off. The back side was real dirty. Got it all cleaned off. 
So, anyway, I see one spot I missed. I got to pull my hose back right up there around that windowsill. A couple spider webs. I extended my left. And I went ahead and bleached the deck down, cleaned it for them. So that's the deck, guys. All I did, it was dirty. I just bleached it down and rinsed it off. That's how I clean most of my decks. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, let me get my gun real quick and wash down that little spider web, and I'll be finished with this house. So I like to always walk back around and look because you're in the process of doing it sometimes you might miss something. Let me fire this jewel up. here and hit that window. I don't know if you guys see it on camera, but right up top there, spot away right there. There he is. There we go. Guys, another one in the books. <clears throat> now, guys, gals, when y'all cut these gas roof pumps, always make sure you got your trigger squeezed. Let the because it's got a lot of back pressure on it. So with my AR60, I've got a second valve on it. So all I got to do is this right here. And that lets the back pressure off while I'm cutting it off. And that way I don't have much pressure build up because what happens is when you cut it off without letting the pressure off, it builds up back pressure and your back, uh, your bypass, it'll leak around these little fittings and all. And in some cases, just blow the hose off and then you have to put the hose back on. All right, guys. Just thought I'd do this video, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. I'll do another one here in a little bit, probably. Just kind of show y'all what i got going on today. So this house is in the book, guys. Talk to y'all later.